Everyone, here's what you need to know to start your day. Crews are battling a fast-moving and fast-growing wildfire burning near Geysersville in Sonoma County. This one is being called the Kincaid Fire. CAL FIRE SONOMA NAPA UNIT IS REPORTING THAT FIRE IS NOW AT 10,000 ACRES. EVACUATION ORDERS ARE IN PLACE FOR SOME AREAS EAST OF GEYSERVILLE AND EVACUATION WARNINGS HAVE BEEN ISSUED FOR OTHER PARTS OF THE COUNTY. AT THIS HOUR, THERE IS ZERO CONTAINMENT ON THAT FIRE. Crews are also fighting a fire which erupted along the highway in San Bernardino, California. This one's being called the Old Water Fire. Mandatory evacuations have been put into effect in the area. San Bernardino County Fire says it has burned between 50 to 100 acres, and at this point there is zero containment on that fire. Thousands of us are starting this Thursday with no power for the second time in as many weeks. PG&E is reiterating the reason for the power shutoffs is to try and prevent another catastrophic wildfire. Fifteen counties in the Sierra foothills and North Bay are impacted, including Butte, Tehama, Plumas, Nevada, and Placer counties. PG&E says up to 179,000 customers could be without electricity. Belgian authorities are investigating how a container holding 39 Chinese nationals made it through one of their ports. Those 39 individuals were all found dead in a truck in the UK. Essex police are now questioning the driver of the vehicle who was detained on suspicion of murder. Congressional leaders and colleagues are remembering the late Maryland Representative Elijah Cummings today. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell are expected to speak at a ceremony before Cummings lies in state at Statuary Hall. Cummings, a civil rights leader, served as chairman of the House Oversight and Reform Committee. A wake and funeral are planned Friday in Baltimore.